Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode two of the Barigiano save in uh, Football Manager 20. Now, in this episode, we're going to continue from where we left off yesterday, uh, having just lost to the under-20s by a goal to nil. So, uh, hopefully, uh, the performances will improve as time goes on and um, throughout this save but we, uh, we certainly want them to improve a bit um, throughout this save and uh, just make a little bit of an improvement now I do realise that when the Youth Academy comes around, we should be generating a good Youth Academy products. Um, so, um, but uh, we did see a little bit of. A disappointing performance from one or two players in the last game so I shall be making a little bit of adjustment uh, maybe to Margiotto himself just to give him the levels that we want so we want 15 on his finishing And probably 15 on his composure. I've also realised that composure, I don't think I want to be up at 20, but I do want concentration to be up at 20 so they don't make a mistake. <sighs> Uh, reflects the player's mental focus and attention to detail on a basis. That's what you want. And decisions are up at 15 as well. So he makes decent decisions, which is good. He's got decent pace. So Give him some height to work with as well, which is just over six foot, which is good. So I reckon he's good enough now, Fulvio Maggiotta. 
to be at least decent for this level and at least decent enough that I'm looking for anyway out of these players. He's not over the top, but he, but he's decent in what he does. So, that's, that's Margiotta. He now plays an attacking forward. DeSantis is up there with him. He can play as a... I want a better raw for him. Target man. Poacher. Further forward. Let's go. Yeah, so that's what I want him to do. Now, bouquet. Didn't really perform in the last game. His kicking's got to be better. Reflex is good, but he's okay, isn't he? He's actually pretty much alright. Right, Scurani, no, La Rosa needs his improvements left back. Well, he does have them, so he should have. Should have seen a better performance from him then. It might be there that the uh, midfielders need to offer more. Like Bettini or anybody like that need to offer a bit more. Again, just around about 14 or 15. Maybe even 13 or something like that. Just enough to uh, do the business. So fifteen I reckon it's good enough there. If we can offer a bit more in Midfield line, we shouldn't get beaten as many times. Even if it's only a couple of defend, a uh, couple of midfielders that are capable of producing Francesco Perichia, and mostly that they're capable of producing on finishes rather than defensive line. But if they're capable of coming up with the odd goal, then it's an eleven for him. Twelve on long 
dots and a bit more flare. He's got a bit more flair to his game, and that looks good for me. Just a bit more from him will get us going forward. Let's go in places. Now, he's now not a bad player, so although he's a defensive midfielder, so maybe his markings should go up to reflect that. Now, so now he's sorted with a bit more of an attacking bit to his game. So, I want him to also run as an attacking mid and be decent there at it. So run as an attacking mid. Right. That's good for him. He's got the finishing of 11, so I think he can run as an attacking mid. And, uh, yeah, that's good. Good for him. So that's a couple of the midfielders put up as well. And uh, and uh, that's going to help us going forward. Wondering if Bertini or per Peraccio want to move forward a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that for the next few games, ladies and gentlemen, and see how we get on. I'm also gonna try and speed this game up a little bit by uh, using detail level. So I'm just gonna do that. Uh, set cloud data to custom, which is uh, to minimum, it should be. And that will just speed up the game, I would imagine, a little bit. Yeah, let's just sped it up a little bit. So, uh, domestic club competitions, my detail. This will be mixed. Uh, what do I do? Full, all competitive matches. Right, okay. Right, that's two. If we go at all competitive matches, it's two. If we go non, it's four. Right. Right, international is none as well. That sticks it to four. And uh, here it qualifies it is none. Okay. Right, so that's fine.
percent man. Okay, so we've, we've got it at four, which is a decent speed. It's good progression. It's actually probably actually a little bit more than four on this thing. Probably on a Tovarello. Okay. Scored for the uh, under 20s. Now, is he good enough? Not really. Not just yet to come into the main side but if he continues like that he will be and also we're coming out of San Marino which is unusual for him I think the Italians do bring through some San Marinans Should be a bit better in this game. We've certainly made a few adjustments, so we should be a little bit better, a little bit more competitive. But we should boss the game. But as I say, we should have enough uh, to beat them. But here we go. Yeah. This is the second game again at Barisciano Stadium. They're expecting Ledigiani to win this by a big margin. I'm not quite sure why they're expecting that, but we'll find out in a minute. Unless they're in Serie D or somewhere. Uh, no, they're in the Excellenza, which is the next division up. Uh, group B, so... I expect this to be pretty close. No. We yeah, are playing extremely cautious. We could perhaps move that to balance. Yuri Donati has just scored. I'm certainly going positive now, so not really lucky. Probably going should be should be winning stuff in the midfield. Certainly not winning stuff at the back if we aren't winning stuff in the midfield. Hmm. But this is actually good to see because this is what you'd call tough management. Let me just I'll let the club a second. Hmm. Just make sure I haven't given myself a headache. Nope, 
I, right, now I haven't given myself a headache, right, now this time, right, um, I'm also going to shut down the transfer window, and allow squad registration any time. So we can make changes if we need to bring people up. But it's not going to be too little down. They aren't really fighting at the moment. They're just making it look terribly easy. Position, good clearance there. But again, not able to find his target. Good chance for my Diotta there to get us back in this game. Cipriani. Fonte. Then we'll Fonte again. I think we're changing the team instruction. End of the second half. We're going a little bit. Not more, much more I can say about that. About. Tell the we're gonna look at the instructions um, and we're gonna yeah. more direct pass in space minus third crosses and work ball in the box now we now want to do it dribble less as well and be more expressive I'm gonna try and get back into this gear right so that's what we're going to go with and that seems to be the right decision so should be open there gets to see something different from his side going forward his Calabrese Bertini with a fantastic part himself is Baraccia Bertini not the best of balls for him his Di, Ch Di Chiara Bertini better Baba better Filippo DeSantis getting them back into this game assisted by Alessio Sababa brilliant cross for him brilliant cross I have to use that weapon to get him some more crossing ability but Looks better from the home side at the moment. Here's the barber again. Not only does he provide an assist, he also scores. <clears throat> 
I'm going to I'm going to just well there is Sababa his crossing's not bad we're gonna make even more use of it so that gets that up and uh, put it at 29 why don't you which doesn't even count uh, decisions are decent they're not perfect right uh, and he's finishing not too bad either just seen there that he can finish so I'll just put that to a better percentage double that as well that gives us a little bit more from him as well got a good pace we can use that good pace he's got good genuine finishing and he's a little bit more composed and he knows what he's doing as his winger this is a barber and it's much better for us the more, ta the more times he can He's actually on loan at the club. And well, uh, if he continues like that, he will be getting a contract. We'll keep, we'll keep an eye on him for now, but if he continues like that, he will be getting a contract. Wise. Still too old, still we're threatening to try and win this game. Which is a good response. Here's Di Chiara. There's a corner for his side. Apparently, but I missed him. So, it's looking ghosted. Do we have? I don't think we have anybody though. Certainly not with the. Um, I'd have to consider options. I'd have to look at tactics and see whether we can bring somebody on that's effective. Attacking midfielder, so that Dorio, he's probably going to be the one we look to try and bring on for unless he has a barber, give him the same amount of crossing ability so we don't lose that uh, crossing ability, giving him slightly less passing. Oops. 55, 15, right, uh, give him decent, Decent strength, decent stamina, a decent pace. Right. 
so then give him the same long shots of 15 oops he's got slightly more long shots but that'll do and that'd be we can bring him on for um, Alessio Sabadma and he's gonna be as good as him if not better Right, so it's gonna be as good. Right, so Adario comes on. Who's time? So Dario comes on for it, let's see the barber. <coughs> Meliano Adario comes on for Alessio Sababa. DeSantis. Madiota. <sighs> for real Madiota scores assisted by Filippo DeSantis. And we lead by three goals to two. And that's good from Margiotta. Good kick. Clear their lines then. Um, Massimo Fabri has just got them back level. <coughs> Much as we went in front, straight away pegged back. Right, we may have to look at some. Yeah. Good. For and then the Santos is finishing. Pose it up there. And decisions are up there. Which is good to see. But we are lacking a bit in some sort. But it's terror at the back here. And Calabrese. That are looking a little bit short of ability and they certainly are Put his mark in. 
shoes on. Shoes. This is in the 60s, so that it looks better for him. So he's much better. So he shouldn't be. He goes from left back now. As much as we were. Word of terror is up there. Right. You can calibrate it right back. So, it seems solid with the skills we need. So he's not going to be making as many mistakes either. What's the negative? Everybody has been strengthened at the. What was his 
strengthen Sababa, he's been strengthened in the midfield position, everybody's been strengthened at the back. So we should be a little bit more competitive. Certainly this season. Six days until the next friendly. In a list against Prone Nepetsanu. If we're getting something, let's make two more managers for this because we need to actually make two more managers for it. Well, three more managers for it actually. Right, so that's fine. National teams under 20s. In fact, we need four managers for it, okay. Italy don't have a under 23 squad, okay, so we only need three. Under 21. Right, so they have an under 21 squad. So we don't need that. the under 21s right so he's back in the side and the good thing for him is that he remains unsackable there so oops so the manager in the under 21s Unstoppable there, so right, so that's fine, and that's that done. So we now need another new manager. Right, so uh, use profile. Do they have an under 20 squad? Yes, they do have an under 20 squad. Let's see, welcome there. Yeah, 
Bueno. So the other night in squad as well. So right, so we've got all age groups covered apart from the under twenty threes, which don't exist in Italy, so that's fine. Right, so we've got the under twenty ones, the under twenties, the under nineteens and the senior squad for Italy, which is exactly what we wanted. Italy trial day apparently. So invitation to Italy trial day. Right. Right, so so that's uh, So I'll put it in then. Our interest for transfer. Do not show this message again. Yeah, certainly the sort of player we're after. Italian right winger. And, uh, he's got pace and he's got fitness, but. I don't know what shows, but I suppose no, he's not what we're looking for. We need to see a little bit better. Simone Man Freddy, he's got the decisions, he's got the natural fitness as well, and he's got the tackling. So I think we can take a chance on him. Transfer target. Oops. Declare interest for transfer. Right. So take a chance on him and left winger. And Batista has he got he does have passing, so Right, that's okay. So he's decent, so right, we need attacking midfielder. Right. Look what he's got. Right, can I bring So those five I'd like to bring in because they do offer something that we haven't got at the minute. Um, and he's a free agent, so if he's likely to want to come in, so
four people that we'd look to try and bring in to help the senior side just improve their numbers a bit and to each European Championship qualifying squad announcement so that's going to be our first international game of this series Not much progress at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. Just waiting for the game to load. I do realise that this is going to be a slower save, so we're going to get less done but, uh, per episode, but 
object in a 1.8 million pounds. to see something out of the other ones first before I'm willing to put another side up so an injection in a club of 1.8 million pounds is just giving it some extra balance wasn't uh, competitive again so it was competitive against uh, it came out of a three old draw didn't it so although uh, the right back has since had an improvement the Midfielders have all had an improvement, and the forwards have definitely had an improvement. So, we'll hopefully see a slightly better performance against Pronet Zapano, or Nepazano, sorry, in this game. That's it. We do want to get up to at least Serie D within five seasons I would suggest and I think because of the youth recruitment side of things I think we can do that there is no doubt about that even if we use uh, players that we that we brought through the club Santos is injured and I'm guessing that's right. let's try this again ok it's not allowing us to and that's a fix everybody which it should be right. ah, okay in this case I'll have to fix them Injuries, his attributes aren't frozen anyway, that's careless. Filippo de Santis. We're gonna use him. Freeze the attributes. He can't change them when he wants to. Right, Madiotta, Adario. Bettini, somebody else is injured. This is why I wanted to change him. Right, this time it's allowed me to do it. I wanted to make sure everyone was fit. And everyone is sharp enough for the gear. So. Then we go to Fabri and Taramo. This is a clay service. Looks like it as well. We've got a grass one. So, uh, we've been a bit more ba balanced than that, folks. We're not going cautious. If we go cautious, we're going to end up conceding. 
So we're going positive. Bruno Pisano in red, Barisciano in green. Okay. Good interception by Maggiotta. Here's, here he is. Now, has he got the composure? Not quite, but it's a good, good chance that for Virtus Barisciano to take the lead. Here's chance again Maggiotta Perantia good good attempt but just missed but, uh, they were looking at replacements for one two of these players right Perantia Sababa Maggiotta, Parashia, Di Chiara, scores! And Francis Barisciano Bar lead by one goal to nil. Against, I think, their Serie D opponents. A look at that club. Yeah. Uh, no, it's Prima Categoria, so it's the same, just Group D, okay. Same level, just Group D, so we should be expecting to uh, win this. I might. Do I have any tactics saved? I think I do, don't I? Uh, yet yeah, we still can use those tactics even though um, if we go those tactics are save tactics so um, we can use them with any side so this is the San Marino attacking with tactic which uh, applies to is applied to an Italian side, but it's still the same thing. So we should be looking to attack more, and bring a bit more um, positive against these opponents because they're only the same level, and we have made uh, slight strides in the club going forward. Here's Kamara. Rossi. Manzi. What a hit that was. Almost the perfect hit. But, uh, versus Barisciano have been good in this game so far. They've been solid without being spectacular they've got plenty of people up front and here's a chance for a free kick Perecchia to take and not quite able to find his target is Scribani bounces it back to Di Chiara Goes down the left hand side. Patini got enough pace to get there. Not quite. Well, he did have enough pace, but he couldn't hold on to it. From Nepotano. Sababa. Good ball. Out to DeSantis. Good ball again. Maggiotta. Unlucky. Did hit the post. No mistake by the keeper. Maggiotta, he's got pace, he's got a bit of pace, but I like this because he doesn't have the composure about him. He isn't scoring 
and scoring otherwise that would be too easy but, uh, they will score from time to time but they won't score too easily Nicola La Rosa has just made it 2-0 so we are going to get a win in this game. First win of this save. But it wasn't easy and it wasn't straightforward. And uh, Do know but, uh, we do have plenty of friendlies. When does the season start in? I know I joined it early July, so I could be more than a month <laughs> out of fixtures, but boy, attendance 89. That's a little bit of a far, far, 1974. See, this is the difference, you see. These are different opponents. You're not going to see uh, teams like uh, La, Fri La Fiorita or Trey Penner playing every three months or so. So, this is much better. much more like it right I think Oops, I'm at the wrong stage. This is Italy. Right. Still Italy. Oh, okay. This is... Right. So, I think development centre wise, if we, if we still get. Um, your centre backs to be. equally as effective particularly at marking and positioning and dare I say tackling as well then we can bring them in effectively boot a lever as well he's not gonna represent us is he? of course he's not right um unless he's dual, dual nationality does he qualify for dual nationality um, i'd imagine not right so um But I was able to ask him, so Mohamed Boutaleb, um, right, so his defend, what I was meaning to do is put him up to the squad, now that's what I was meaning to do, because um, he's up there and ready to go, now, uh, 16 year old young centre back, 17 year old young striker, we need, 
we need um, options here and this is what I'm doing I'm giving us options um, so we don't have to rely on the initial uh, finishes he has got good finishing I'll give him that and uh, but his decision making isn't quite up there at the moment so that reflects in that so he's got good finishing but he doesn't make the right decision all the time so 14 it's good from him If he can if he can just do that for the time being, he's good enough to make a step. Um we brought him into the squad anyway, just to give us more of an option up front and I have to rely on Filippo DeSantis or anybody like that for an extended period and we've got another in the back we've got a keeper that is reasonably decent whether he's um, no he stays in the other 20s uh, for the time being Walter Carl Bitty apparently is fit for a, a move to the squad, which we've done. Uh, what's the rules for this league? Have they changed? Right. I think the rules might have changed. I think we might have changed them to allow as many foreign players in as we can. Right, 12 to. Right, so there's no foreign limit. And there's no work permit either because everybody's in the EU, so that's fine. There's no work permit required to bring anybody in. Uh, 105 and 68, which is what we've gone with. But uh, yeah, I surprise. I'm not surprised he predicted it today because I pressed the wrong button. That's what I wanted. I didn't want to do that in the first place. So that was a mistake. Right. <laughs> right here we go making another save and 
incidentally, we're just about an hour in and we haven't made as much progress as we normally would. Which is a good thing. Means the series gonna have more longevity. the veteran striker well that gives us even more options then I don't mind players that want to play for this club Mastria as well as I say the more options we've got the better it's gonna be and he's got good fin he's got decent finishing He's almost around about the same uh, abilities as what I'm looking for. So, these players, I'm not trying to bring these players in. No room on the amount of foreign players either, so we can just bring in as many as we want. Right. Uh, yeah, he's got good fin uh, good finishing as well. At Thirteen. Anybody like that is going to be decent. And Marco Varani is a 28-year-old attacking midfielder, but has the ability to finish, so that's good for him. Just to give us more, even more of an option. 22-year-old winger. Now how many of these have we got left? Show us as a, as a list, please. Right, so we've got a striker there. Uh, LMA, who's coming in. Right, so... We've got, yes, another striker. We've got so many striking options at the club now. So, uh, that is fine. Right. We've got so many striking options at the club. Uh, I don't think we need any more apart from another attacking mid. To be honest. Um, we don't need too many more options. So we've got plenty of them. So we can just acknowledge the rest of them. And go ahead at that. Players ineligible for the next game again <laughs> against the island under 19s. So, three messages in the Italian inbox. In fact, Make of the offer, okay. Uh, yeah, I know. Rejection to doing that. I 
rather get away with rejecting non-Italians or non-decent Europeans. Why are we coming up with so many striking options? Give us another position. Going with the same side. Now they're expected to win against Castle Novo Fafa. Let's see where they are. Group C, Lazio, apparently, so near Rome. Dikiara Calabrese Good play His Sababa He's got a cross on him And he's also got a good pass And Francesco Paraccio Has taken advantage of it And we lead By a goal to nil Early in the piece Nil versus Barciano one. The Santis is a good bit of possession football throwing, trying to win it back for us. Oh, what a goal by Sababa! That's a bit more like it. What a hit that was! Alessio That was very impressive indeed Fuma Jelly Being played out of position um, Probably because they're playing the wrong tactic Which I'll have to load I'm surprised it doesn't keep your tactic thing used right we're going uh, standard which is balanced which is a bit more better than cautious but uh, yeah, we're going ba balanced so oof oh and it's gone in off the keeper it's 3-0 in fact, it went in off the centre back, Filippo Gamera. There he is, very disappointed with that own goal. <coughs> Let's put side 3 0 now, and uh, Virtus in a very strong position. 
noticed that I haven't uh, I brought these players in but they haven't come in yet so the players that were asked to come in haven't come in yet so uh, we can get better than this and just bear in mind that once we do that we should be very competitive Paracha has done it again two goals in four minutes for Benjamin ben Raggiano they aren't the best side but they are way better than the previous C category side they're probably uh, equivalent to Serie B at this point Barciano again. Thirty-seven. And there you go. So they're not the perfect side. They still have issues, or still have bad times. Like that piece of defending wasn't great, but uh, surely they're. The amount of their attacking should get them out of most situations at this level anyway. So, uh, I'm just going, whoops, no change. Uh, there are going to be changes or possible changes. Uh, we're going to look at Manuel Silva. He's going to get a run out. For Filippo De Santis who's going off in this game. Emilia, sorry, Emiliano with Dario is getting another run out for the yellow carded. She's playing at a, in fact, she's going to be moved into Chiara's position. And so, He's there. He's he's better where where he's supposed to be. So there we go. What a goal that was by Fulvio Maggiotta. How good is he? Good finish by him. to the second half and we've already scored set upon a plate for What a ball. Just couldn't quite finish it off. Headed over, he's going off because he's looking like he's injured. Well, unless he has a barber, he's going off correction.
was a confident performance from me. <laughs> So, any takers on the inbox? No, we're on the wrong inbox, okay. One thirty four oh seven. <laughs> Doing transfer window one week outside the transfer window two weeks.
Problem with him is being thirty four. That is, things are going to go down a fair bit easily. So, what I want um, is to have at least a couple of seasons with him able to produce at that level. Now the game is going to freeze his attributes as it has them, which is how I wanted. But I don't feel I need to change anything. He's certainly good enough. And uh, what I can do is I can get a couple, two or three more years out of him. So he's an experienced striker, but he's not a veteran, so I will have few more years out of him, he's 31, so the only thing we would want to do with that is give him a bit more pace, maybe, and more acceleration, so we can use his skills that he's got to Thirty-one years of age, and he's fine. So, let's go for the club. So that's fine. He's got some sort of villa, even though his dribbling's a bit low, to be honest. Four. So we're gonna have to up that to at least ten, just to give him a little bit more to work with. Novellino. Okay. Two bits made, nine clubs interested. Okay, ten press conference.
Znači... Again, just give gives me these abilities, and we can have a look at them, and then we can make adjustments if necessary. But just give me the abilities first, and we'll see how they play first, and we will see how they go as to whether we need to change them. But I don't suppose we will at this stage. now if you've got so many <laughs> you've got so many uh, strikers it is unbelievable there's plenty of competition for places at the striking role that means I can First game of the league is after this as well against Via Santon J Lo. So, Andre Enemy. Thomas Nechi and Ilame are in. But, uh, yeah, I agree with the forwards, but I don't agree with the DeSanto is in. So only DeSanto. Now, what does he offer? Nobody else does. He does offer slightly better finishing. So, I like that in his game. So, he's in. Dinelli is also in as well as an extra winger. Right. Shoot up. Shoot up. Right. And So, uh, Tony Part 8 has come on. striking options now though it is unbelievable how many options we have
I think seven's enough, at least for now. So, I think we've got enough strikers. We've got a couple of wingers. Uh, if anything, we're looking for extra defenders to give us a... Uh, the forward line's looking a lot better. The defensive line could do with an improvement. But if they keep giving us this stupid they keep giving us strikers then we ain't gonna take them because we've got too many of them are they all strikers? yeah they're all strikers I don't know why they're doing that they don't need to give us that many strikers because we've got plenty of them Right, DeSantis and uh, Ilomay are starting this game with I'm going to have at least two strikers on the bench That's for Breezy He's going to be replaced with Thomas Netchi So we've got DeSantis LMA and Right, where is there's nobody in the club. So a Cole Angeloni is gonna have to come in there. Okay, is on the I'm gonna have to bring up somebody from goalkeeping side of things. Right, let's uh Bring up Pirelli as an option. He's not the best, but he's gonna have to come up because we don't have another goalkeeper at the moment. So Pirelli's gonna have to come up. Um, come here, and Felice. Yes. Right, so we've got another keeper. So we've got Walter Pirelli. Right, so we've got Angeloni and Pirelli on the bench. Replacing. Really is on the bench. That's a second keeper. Bertini, Ilame, and DeSantis are up front. With Necci. And Goldie's in. On the bench as well, with potential striking options. So, a bench, Vincenzo Novellino is replaced. Everybody is fit. Everybody is match sharp. 
and that's what we want. Right. Well, that means that uh, the keeper can now stand in because he's now fit. Um, so Mikhail Bouquet will come back into the side. Um, and Elamay and DeSantis are up front, and there's no other changes for Berto versus Barisciano. <sighs> Tommy Parts here expected to win this one, but uh, we do have a couple of signings on the bench. And what I'm going to do is, because um, I want to see how these players have gone, I'm going to extend the highlights a little bit to give us extended highlights. So we're going to take a look at a few more instances of play just to give us a bit more of an extra look here's Elame, good header for him here he is again the striker Oof. Ooh, that was a good effort who was that? I think the striker is playing slightly out of position uh, Calabrese, DeSantis, Dicchiara goes backwards, it's Calabrese, probably going to take this video up to half time ladies and gentlemen. If not, it'll just cut off, unfortunately. Here's LMA again. Is he going to have the composure? Certainly to test the keeper he is. Francesco Scrivani scored, but it's been disallowed for offside. Still nil nil. In fact, I'm going to pause it there, ladies and gentlemen, and just um, spend. So, just as a reminder, we've brought about seven new strikers in. Um, since the last game so we've got plenty of strikers at the club now the striker pool is a good selection of different ones so we don't have to rely on DeSantis or anybody like that for too many games because the ones that are brought in are the equivalent ability of DeSantis and the one that was already in there so uh, there isn't going to be much of a drop off now I just need to find defenders that give me the same sort of thing um, at the moment I haven't found any the only thing that the scout has come up with is um, strikers I might change the position that I'm scouting for um, and just tell them to look for uh, defenders and midfielders just to keep us um, strong in that department as well and to just basically oh well the entire squad as we look to try and uh, make ourselves more competitive at the level so that's probably what's going to happen but that's going to bring this video to an end ladies and gentlemen once again thanks for watching for anyone that does see this when it is posted up and keep subscribed and stay tuned for further videos in this series but this is a sign off ladies and gentlemen and thanks for watching